Welcome to part two of our video on mains and applied part leakage current test. We are now in our lab and ready to perform two steps of the test on a class one medical device. Here's our medical device. And as far as the connections go, I've connected the applied part that's under test to one side of the measuring device circuit. And I've also plugged in the line cord of our me medical device into the adapter box coming out of our leakage current analyzer. T1 that, that was labeled on the diagram that we saw earlier is built into our leakage current tester and we're using a secondary source to represent T2 which will be used to apply 264 volts which is 110% of line voltage to our applied part. I'm also using a set of multiplexers in order to perform the necessary switching of voltage in a safe manner. So I'm going to go ahead and start the test. Let's take a look at the results. The first step was performed in normal polarity of T2 and we recorded about 8.3 microamps. The second step was simulating the reverse polarity condition of T2 and uh, the 180 degree phase difference between T1 and T2. And in that condition, we recorded about 7.7 .7 microamps. So the results did not change much, but it gives you an idea of what the mains and applied part leakage test looks like and how is it set up. Thank you for viewing this video and we would love to hear back from you. So please do reach out to us with any questions or concerns.